So an incredible free app called Chiaki allows us to remote play our PS5 console directly to our ROG Ally X. Here's how to set it up in 8 easy steps, which of course also works for the original Ally, Legion Go and indeed all Windows based handhelds. So let's dive straight in with step 1 which is to download Chiaki. So let's open up our favourite web browser on the Ally X which in my case is Brave, head to this GitHub web address, link for which is in the description, and download the very latest version of Chiaki which is currently 1.8. To do this, we scroll down a little bit so we find the zip file called checkit-ng-win underscore x64. Click on it and I'm going to install it into my downloads folder. Just a quick note as we start, which is to make sure our Ally and PS5 are on the same Wi-Fi network. Next for step two, let's install Chiaki by heading to where we downloaded it, which in my case is the downloads folder. Click on it to bring up your favorite unzip program. Select where you'd like to install it, which in my case is the local C drive. Now go back to this folder, which is called chiaki-ng-win. Open up chiaki.exe file. We'll get this blue Windows protected your PC pop-up, so just click more info, then run anyway. And on this Windows security, we just click allow. For step three, we now need to register our PS5 console. So just tap on the PS5 we want to register, and this is where we need to enter our PSN account ID. Now in my Chaki setup guide a year ago, we had to go to an external website called PSN Flip Screen Games to get our PSN account ID. But thankfully we don't need to do this anymore. We can do it all within the Chiaki app. So now all we need to do is tap on this public lookup button. On this PSN login screen, press the command center button, open up our keyboard, and simply type in here our PSN username, which of course is our gamer tag. Then click submit. How easy was that, eh? So with our PSN account ID now in place, two final things. First, make sure at the bottom our correct console is selected, which in my case is a PS5. And we now need to get our remote play pin from our console. Switch on our PS5 console and in settings, head to remote play. Make sure this enable remote play button is enabled. Click on link device and we very quickly need to enter this eight digit code into this remote play pin section right here. So again, press command center button to select the keyboard and type this in. So finally, with our PSN account ID and remote play pin from our console now in place and our correct console selected at the bottom, we can now just hit register. And if successful, our console should now have the word registered next to it. So now we just need to optimize and map controls. Okay, for step four, let's optimize Chiaki. So let's click on the cog icon top right to enter settings. Two things in the general tab, which is what we prefer. In action on disconnect, I'm gonna select the PS5 to enter sleep mode instead of asking. And on action on suspend to enter sleep mode as well. In video, in the window type, we can zoom or stretch, but I'm gonna select full screen and just leave render preset to high quality for the best quality stream. In the stream tab, I'm going to change the remote resolution from 720 to 1080p for better quality. I'm going to leave the bit rates at default, but if you're having issues, try experimenting. For example, some people find 20,000 to be a good bit rate value to use here. On audio slash Wi-Fi, I'm going to leave the buffer size at default, but again, we can change this if we're having any issues. On consoles, I'm going to select auto connect so it connects straight away to save time. Now we've optimized Chaki, we can now press the back button, tap on our console, and after about 30 seconds, we're straight into our PS5 dashboard. And first impressions is that this feels really snappy. You can tell that all the hard work the amazing developers have put into optimizing this over the past year has really paid off. And obviously the best thing about Chaki is that it uses the native Ally X's controls, unlike the official Sony Remote Play app where we have to use a third party control mapper app. For step five, let's add Chiaki to Army Crate. So let's press Command Center, press End Task to close our stream for a minute, press the Army Crate button, press the Select button, select Add Game slash App to Library, click the LB button on the top left, go to our Chiaki slash NG slash Win folder, scroll to select the Chiaki.exe file, and it should come up with a tick next to it, so just press Done. 
For step six, let's customize artwork so it doesn't look like this hideous piece of snot. On our web browser, go to an amazing website called steamgriddb.com, search for Jackie, scroll down and find a horizontal game artwork you like. I'm gonna select this, press download, tap on the image, press save image as, to save it to our desktop, back in Army Crate, select the Jackie app and press the X button, go to game info, press select game art, click on add, find it on the desktop, select it and then press done. Now press edit game art, pinch to zoom in to get rid of those annoying bars at the top and bottom, click save and voila, a much more aesthetically pleasing artwork. Next for step seven, let's select Chiaki's operating mode. So press the X button, choose the set game profile, scroll down to configuration, and in the operating mode on battery, I'm gonna select performance. But you may find that silent works well, so let us know in the comments which mode you prefer for PS remote streaming. And finally for step eight, let's map our controls. And when we go into Chiaki's settings and into the keys tab, we can see that the touchpad is set to T and the PS button is set to S. So in Army Crate, let's head to settings, then in control mode, select configure, then configure in this left gamepad mode. Click on M1 and untick this box, press edit in the primary function, then go to keyboard and press T to map the DualSense touchpad and do the same in the secondary function. So this is mapped to the touchpad too. Let's click on the M2 button. Again, untick this set as secondary function option, go to keyboard, and select ESC for the PS button and do exactly the same for the secondary function area. So to keyboard and then to ESC. So here we have M1 mapped to T for our DualSense touchpad and M2 mapped to the ESC button for our PS button. So now here this left rear M2 button, yep, is definitely our PS button and brings up the menu. And in a game like the excellent Animal Well, the rear M1 button on the right is, is our DualSense touchpad. So in this game, it brings up the map. Congratulations, your Ally X original Ally or Windows handheld is, is now fully set up for PS remote play using Checky. And if this helped you, then hit like and comment so the YouTube algorithm can spread this out to help more in our amazing Windows PC handheld gaming community. And if you've ever enjoyed a vid here on the channel, then to get subscribed to help us reach our goal of 10,000 subs by the end of the year. Thanks so much. I'd love to hear what PS5 games that you will remote play first and also share any tracky tips below in the comments. And as a little extra bonus watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Be proud of how you chose not to repeat that cycle again. So many of us have come from difficult childhoods that left us with a lot of emotional trauma. And if we're able to overcome and not repeat this in our own lives, then I really do believe this is one of the very best legacies that we can ever leave in this world. So stay encouraged today, guys. And if you'd like to know how to set up Emmy Deck to play all those classic retro games, then check this out. As always, I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.